Today, we will be showing you how to make the bushcraft knife. When making a knife, we like to start out by heat treating our steel before we do any grinding or sanding. And if you plan on using a file to shape your knife, you will want to do the heat treat after your initial bevel grinds are done. Also, be sure to drill out your handle pinholes to the right size before you do your heat treat. We get the knife blank up to 1650 degrees Fahrenheit and hold it for 10 minutes. If you are heat treating using a torch or a forge, get the blade red hot so it loses its magnetic properties and then quench it. We're using a quench oil made for steels, but you can also use canola oil. Do this part in a wide open space as you can have a flare up and you do not want to burn your garage down. We did two tempering cycles at 400 degrees for two hours each. Be sure to let the blade air cool in between tempering cycles. Since we know our blade is 3 16 thick, we can take a 3 16 drill bit and use that to mark the center point down the cutting edge of the blade. You can also use calipers or any other handmade jig. We start grinding the knife at a very aggressive angle. As we go on, we will shallow that angle up. We want to take the grind right up to that center line without bringing it to a sharp point. Then we can start adjusting our angle and doing much more shallow grinds. After each pass, we like to check to make sure we are staying the same on both sides to keep the blade nice and symmetrical. Started with a 30 grit belt, moved up to 60, and then we took it to a 120. We are using a 2x72 belt grinder. You can use much smaller units from Harbor Freight or other tool stores. You'll get the job done. If you haven't already heat treated your blade, this is when you would want to do it. This last belt is a scotch bright belt which helps get rid of the deep grind marks. Next up is hand sanding. For this, we started at 220 grit and slowly worked our way up to 400. We're going to do a stone wash on this knife blade. To do that, we first etch the blade with some ferric chloride. Then we clean it up with some WD-40 and put it in a rock tumbler for five minutes. This is to get a worn look on the blade. You can get the same effect with a five gallon bucket, some tumbling media, and rolling it around on the ground. Next up is our handle material. We decided to use the G10 scales. If you use the maple, make sure to sand it down so it sticks flat with the steel. We line up our handle material and start drilling holes through it, making sure it all lines up. We then mark the profile with a sharpie. Then you can draw in by hand the front face. Now sand down all the excess material and just get it close. We are grinding this side down on an angle because that is where the handle material will come down and meet up with the blade surface. 
It'll be a lot harder to clean this up after the handle scale is on the blade. We are mixing up a two-part, five-minute epoxy to glue the handle scales together. Once everything is in position, clamp it down and wipe up all the excess glue, especially on the stonewash surface. We let this dry overnight to ensure it set really well. Now that the glue is set, we need to grind down the handle pins, but you want to be careful on this part to not heat them up too much as that can make your glue come loose. Now you can trim down the rest of the profile. And start adding curves so that it'll fit into your hand better. For this knife, we want to make the spine shiny, so we're sanding off the stonewash. And here we are adding little dimples to the side of the handle to give it some more texture. This is commonly called a rock finish. This is a great finish for beginner knife makers. It's easy to do, and it'll make it look good. Work your way up to 400 grit sandpaper to finish the handle and spine. Now we can bring our cutting edge to a sharp point. We use a fine grit belt for this part, but be careful not to overheat your blade. If you get it too hot, it will ruin your heat treat and your knife will not hold an edge. And then the last step, we use a wet stone to fine tune our edge. Knife making takes lots of practice. Your first knife will not be great, but the more you do, the better you will get. We hope you've enjoyed your first subscription box with us, and for some of you, the first knife you've ever made. Make sure to post a picture of your finished knife to show all your friends how awesome you are, and for a chance to win the gift card at waterjetknives.com.